Hey everybody, it's Bobcat Mike here, and in today's video I'm going to be going over a few questions that people have proposed to me in personal messages, uh, during games, and other conversations, and that is where in the forest do you find the Liberty Cap mushrooms? Problem with these is that the Liberty Caps are so tiny and so randomly sporadic, it is very, very difficult to, to come across them. But there are three sites that I have found to be consistent. Uh, I've tested this over 15, 20 different restarts, and the locations have always been productive. But the difference is that they've been randomized on the amount of Liberty Caps that have spawned at these locations. This one here, where I'm starting out, as you can see on the map, I'm right up in the northwest. The Seaside Stilt Village is just off in the distance there. The gun cache is straight behind me. This was the most populated area on this map that I started. As you can see, southwest is the second set of twin uh, camp huts. Over this way, you can see there's a couple more. There's some other mushrooms around here as well. This is actually a very good spot to, to gather various mushrooms. As you can see, I'm coming over to the cliffs. You can see the huts off in the distance. Now, this is the second set of huts as you're coming up along the beach. And it's almost straight northeast of those second huts. About halfway from the cliff face to the tree line. And again, I do recommend when you're trying to find these Liberty Caps, do it either right after sunrise before it gets too bright or early in the evening when the sun starts to go down but it doesn't get too dark so as you can see you come from the beach there up that little bit of a hill you head straight northwest coming up along this ridge here and you'll see that tree line in the distance it almost seems to line up with that far cliff face and we just run straight out and it's pretty much on a little bit of a, a tiny ridge. You'll see right in the very middle, almost halfway between the cliff face and the tree line. And you just search around. And again, like I said, they, they spawned different quantities on every map that I started. This one here had the most out of everything, so that's why I started on, on this spot here. But as you can see now, it's starting to get a little bit brighter in the day. And it's a little bit more difficult for me to come across them. And I know they're here. They're just hard to see in the daytime. One there, one there. I think on this one, there was about five. Five that spawn in this area. But I've had games where there's only been one spawn in the area. I'll turn my brightness down a little bit and see if that helps a little bit. It, it does help a little bit, but again... Because of the time of the day, it is still very difficult to, to find these. The second spot that I noticed is very, very productive. Right outside the main cannibal village. As you can see right here, we're on the Modern Axe Cave entrance, the drop-down one. And northwest, almost, almost directly in line with the hilltop village that's up above the Katana Cave. From here, you head almost northwest, about 30, 35 steps straight northwest, and you will come across another little Liberty Cap mushroom cache. Now this one here I think spawned three, three or four for me, but again, this area here I have seen them as many as nine, sometimes ten. The problem is with the Liberty Caps, you, once you find one, you kind of have to do a bit of searching around the local area because they are somewhat randomized on their their spawn placements. And again, there's the Katana Cave in that direction, and then the Modern Modern Axe Cave just over in that direction there. Now you can see it's getting a little bit dark, so it's kind of getting difficult for me to see the mushrooms. But again, that's where we are on the map. I'll keep that out so everybody can eyeball and memorize. It's 
so that's one of the good spots there. Another spot, like I said, is right up on the hilltop by the hilltop village that's right above the Katana Cave. Sometimes a plane will crash right in this area here. The, the village is just to my left on the map. But as you can see, there's a drop-down cave just up here. And right out in front of the cave is another spawn point for the Liberty Caps. And again, like all spawn points, sometimes there's one, sometimes there's five, sometimes there's eight, ten. It's, it, it seems to be random. I haven't found any consistency in all of the, the times that I've restarted and retried. There we are on the map there. So these are the three places that I have had the most success. Now don't get me wrong, they spawn everywhere on the map, but these just seem to be the easiest and the most productive. Hopefully everybody found this entertaining and useful, and please like, subscribe, hit the notification button to get notified when I upload more videos, and there will be more videos on the way to come. Everybody have a wonderful day.